Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So today we are in Pierre Lachaise Cemetery. So Pierre Lachaise Cemetery is the largest cemetery in Paris, France at 44 hectares or 110 acres with more than 3.5 million visitors annually. It is the most visited um, cemetery in the world. So Pierre Lachaise is still an operating cemetery and accepting new burials. However, the rules to, the, uh, to be buried here in Paris are rather strict. People may be buried in one of these cemeteries if they die in the French capital city or if they lived there. Being buried in Pierre Lachaise is even more difficult nowadays as there is a waiting list. Uh, the grave sites of Pierre Lachaise range from a simple headstone to towering monuments. So the cemetery manages to squeeze an increasing number of bodies um, into kind of small, already used and crowded spaces. And one way it does this is by combining the remains of multiple family members in the same grave. Um, at Pierre Le Chase, it's not uncommon to reopen a grave after a body has decomposed and enter another coffin. Um, some of the family mausoleums actually um, contain dozens of bodies, often in several uh, separate um, kind of areas. So the cemetery actually opened um, in 1804, I believe, and it takes its name from the confessor, Louis Pierre Francois de la Chase. So, obviously, there is numerous um, famous people, singers, actresses. Actors. Politicians. So, with that little bit of history. I think we need to uh, explore family Baron Forbes Escandon inside the altar, some beautiful stained glass. Beautiful angel. A lot of damage to this one. It's like the altar has been pulled out of it.
So we had some rain last night. A little bit this morning. Look at the dried flowers in there. Family, their bane. Joseph, Noel, their bane. 1914. There was also a burial here in 2002, Dominic, 1983, Andre, 2002. So I presume the bodies are, are just under there. Oh, look at this one. Della family, many air. Uh, lot of euros in that building. Pretty amazing. And if I turn around, we have this one. Marcel Pratt, Baron B. de Juvenel. 1971 and we have Ronald the Juvenel 1946 and we actually have the likeness here of Ronald a uh, Roland excuse me Roland he was born in 1931 and only and he passed away the 2nd of the 5th, 1946. So, probably only 15 years of age. 14 or 15 there. looks like under that it says Pozzo di Borco quite hard to read that Famille Blanc, what a huge mausoleum. Right, I think I'll go up the steps. Um, gosh, look at that one, it's falling apart. I have it taped off there. And you can just see just 
how deep it goes down. See that big hole there? So that is where the bodies would be. Down there. Really far down. Another one here. All held together. That too goes way down far. Right. I think what I need to do is um, get up these steps, see if I can get the map out and figure out where to go next. Just spotted this one. Very haunting image. To me, it's like a nun, but her face is completely hidden with a veil. There is some writing up there, but maybe you can read that. I think there's a tour actually just up ahead and this is uh, the chapel, Le Chapelle. So it might be a good place for me to stop, get some water, um, get my bearings. Wow. I think that's Mary holding our Lord. Del Duca, Sino, 1967, it's Simone, 2004. Thank you. 
Tu vois la tour Eiffel Tu devines Ah bah il y a la tour en même temps. Et tu devines aussi Ah non mais il y en a plus. Bah si regarde, elle commence par là aussi. In his hand, you can see he's holding a tiny little man. Unfortunately, I don't know who this is. I can't read the inscription. We have a lady's face there at the bottom. That is gorgeous. And as I turn around, look at this, guys. So I've just noticed this one. Looks like maybe Alan Bash Bashung. 1947 to 2009. I've just looked it up on the maps. I cannot find any information on him But obviously He's very well known here in France lots of lipstick marks all over hearts kisses Tante May wrote at the bottom So guys, if you know, let me know. Now I think this is the, if I have work this out right this is the workers memorial god look at this one gosh look at this there is a bust up there not sure who this is Gaspard Mong and you have this iron gate and another door one two three other doors possibly where the bodies are it's kind of creepy looking to me this one is something similar Le Roy Helgas. The map is actually proving quite hard to understand um, or figure out. You can see her hand is reaching up into the mausoleum of the family Raspal, Raspale. She's completely covered. You can't see her face. Kind of a haunting and sad image.
Oh wow, look at that. It's all like niches where the, the coffins are placed. It's not in great condition at all. Can't even really make out names. Must be very old. See the gates are literally barely standing. Lovely little walkway up there. This one has all the names on the outside as well. Very bad repair as well, unfortunately. 1822, Martin, just 22 years of age. I think 1822 is the earliest internment there. I love that, all the moss on it, look at that. This is the 18th division. A very modern looking monument there. I like this one. Another one here, it looks brand new. Gosh, look overhead. Right up there. Maybe that's where I need to go. Wow. Right, I took a walk up the steps. Had to check this out. Amazing. That's what we were looking up at a few moments ago.
A pyramid here. Oh, General, that is huge. And just here, this is amazing. Full building like. I can't even show you, it's so huge. This one actually has a glass door and it is really, really nice in here. I'm probably just going to show my reflection now. Seems to be like a real, or is it a, a door kind of, I think it is. Hard to make it out. It's fantastic. But I just want to try and get as much of it as possible to show you. Right, I've just noticed this one. To me it's almost like a, a marquee or a tent. I think it's a uh, family Ruel, that is amazing. And just here we have a gentleman, Gabriel Robinet, 1887, doctor. Um, the rest of the writing is actually quite faded. We're in the shade, it's actually boiling. This one is in a, a bad way. Gosh, we still have old flowers in here. Look at that. Beautiful. I think I've gotten lost several times, um, but it has brought me to this beautiful little statue of a little girl. She's actually sitting on a, an anchor. Look at her eyes. Can't read anything on it, unfortunately. Marie, I think her name is. Where can you see that? M -R, R I E. Well, there is something very faint there. It does look like Marie. 1881. Oh, yeah, look at here. If you look at the top of the tombstone where the moss has grown, it does look like Marie. Is it 1831? 1839, is it? Ten just here on the tombstone. 1931. Yeah.
and of course Great Visitations has just spotted this one. This is gorgeous. Little we have boy. a little girl now, we have a little boy. Ah. Oh Lord, look at that. And he's just there with his feet dangling and his face in his hands. It looks like is it Pierre? Pearl. P E or Ellie. Ellie or I E? Ellie. Is it? Cronea. Uh, 1936 to 1999. And then on the other side we have Claude, 1932 to 2013. But what a gorgeous little boy. He's so cute. There's a beautiful one behind that there as well, a woman as well. So we do have kind of newer stones that did explain that um, in the video as well that uh, new burials are continuing. This looks like 16 years old. 16, yeah, 19, 1984 to 2000. Is it Aureli Perdomo? Beautiful little girl. So rest in peace. Right. We've got to try and find our way back down. Somewhere down there. So we're going to try and do that. This one, guys. A lady holding a small child. Another one I've just spotted. Wow, how beautiful is that? And this one, strangely enough, has her birth year, but not her death date. So I presume this lady is still alive. And this would be the photo of her that they have sculpted her in marble. So I'm not going to show her date of birth because I said there is no date of death. How amazing. Wow. That is extraordinary. Another beautiful memorial here. Look at the colour of her. She stands out. Wow. Nineteen twenty eight to two thousand and five. Looks like it's a cello. Armand Pierre Armand Sculptor.
another one I've spotted. It's an artist's palette in the middle of a torso. Christian Nitzel, I think it is. 1958 to 2011. <laughs> Et après, il y a la voiture qui passe là où ils peuvent passer. Et souvent, ça va se faire au fur et à mesure. Après, normalement, on ne tente pas 10 minutes avant la fermeture, on n'assiste pas. Depuis de sortir, on sort. Et que le cœur doit retourner en colère. Very visited grave. Frederic Chopin. Look what we just found here. France. Clear that. Nineteen thirty two to twenty This tomb here is known as Peekaboo, and I'll show you why. George Rodenbach, 1898. Tiki. 1944 to 2004. Quite unusual. Gilbert. 1927 to 2001. Je sais, je sais. Singer, you just heard it yourself. Beautiful photos there. Oh, look at that. Madame Robert Calvé. Victim de la Liberation de Paris. 
19, oops, 1926 to 1944 victim. We'll have to look her up. Le victim de victim de la liberation, the Paris. Probably during the war, Second World War when maybe Germany invaded France. Very beautiful lady, and a beautiful statue. So the tomb I want to show you is very popular um, by the ladies, plenty, many ladies visiting and I'll show you why. I had to wait because there was women in here, would you believe? Here he is, Victor Noir. And you might notice that um, he has been, how do I say this without being rude? He has been caressed a lot in a certain area. Also, his nose, his mouth, people kiss him and caress this area. So Victor Noir was a journalist and he was killed by Prince Pierre Bonaparte, nephew of Napoleon and cousin of Emperor Napoleon III. A dispute between two newspapers, including the one where Noir worked, escalated and led to an altercation when ended with the prince calling Noir and his colleagues menials, slapping Noir's face and then shooting him dead. When a court acquitted the prince of murder, an uproar, including violent demonstrations, took place. Nine months later, the emperor's unpopular regime was overthrown during the Franco-Prussian War. Sculptor Jules Dalou created the realistic life-size bronze sculpture of Noir to appear as though he had just fallen in the street. The slight bulge in his trousers um, has made Noir's grave one of the most popular in the cemetery due to a legend that rubbing it will provide fertility benefits. They also kiss his mouth, but you can see the, the wear and tear um, in the bulge. There you go. Very visited grave right there. Oh, let's have a look in here. I keep getting lost. It is uh, really, really hard to find anyone um, using even find a grave. Really, really hard. Wow, look at this. That is brilliant. A Terry. The Ami the Admirators. So I'm assuming that's admirers. Isn't that so cool? To me actually behind him looks like a grill of a, a tractor or the radiator part, you know. But he's wearing uh, like a helmet with goggles and that's definitely a steering wheel. So another one guys, we'll have to try and look up. The heat is 
um, probably around 28, 29 degrees. They are saying that the weather is to change tonight. Um, there's actually weather warnings. Here's the name Auguste Blanc Wow. The detail, amazing. So we've been looking for Oscar Wilde for a long time. Grave visitations found Jim Morrison and we think Oscar Wilde is down here. This gentleman is looking straight at me. The Leglise family, Henry Leglise, 1888. <laughs> Young love. Oh wow. See this is what keeps happening. I hope you can hear me now because there's a bit of a breeze. Panzu, I think, is the family name here. Beautiful lady. 
on a throne. Wow. Standing guard protecting the mausoleum. Gosh, look at her. Wow. And what is she guarding? Wow. I don't know whether you can see that, but to the left of the floor, there's a big drop. Amazing. Right, I'm just on my way down to show you Oscar Wilde and I've just seen this. This is amazing. We have a boy with his dog. Two boys on either side and up atop the then there's a, a bust of a man. Just look at that though. Amazing. Family Albain, it looks like. So here we are. Oscar Wilde. And you can see there's lots of kisses, red lipstick all over the glass. They actually put the glass up to stop people from kissing the stone itself. So they now come and kiss the glass. Okay. 
the door. I love you. So, as we know, Oscar Wilde was an author, a writer, and came from Dublin. And he actually went to Trinity College in Dublin and obtained a scholarship and won the Berkeley Gold Medal. And I'll have to leave a rock of some description or a stone All his information is there. Lots of kisses. In fact, I don't know where you picked them up. So I found a nice rock. And like everybody does when they come to see Oscar, we have to leave him a stone. It's a mark of respect for a great man. And you can just see there's a lock here, so they come in and obviously clean out after a while. But that is the actual door into his grave. So Oscar Wilde, it has taken us probably five hours to find him. Ages. About <laughs> five hours. And there he is, all the way at the back of Pierre Le Chase. Look at that. Look at the dress. It's like knee length pants the boots the hairstyle look at that and beside this little boy we have his companion a dog Alright guys, if you like this content, don't forget to subscribe, like the video please, it helps a lot. Uh, that's the end of this video at least, there will probably be more, so keep an eye out. But from me, Serenity Sue here in Paris, a Pierre Le Chase, take care, God bless, and I'll talk to you all again soon.